Hey guys, good morning. We are here for another episode of Use It or Lose It for 2021. This is the January stuff. Um, it's February 1st as I'm filming this, so I haven't done anything for February, but I've done a little bit of cleaning, rearranging, and a lot of creating, and it has definitely led me down a rabbit hole of using stuff up, purging stuff. So the first thing right on top, I had five rolls of double stick tape that I've had for who knows how long. I used up four of them, yay. I have two of these plus a big guillotine cutter. I do not need three paper cutters. This one is going to go. Nothing wrong with it. I just don't need that many paper cutters, so it's going to go. Okay, garbage. I used up a, I used up so many file folders this month. I had a big giant stack of them and they all had to go. So they did. I um these are all dead paint pens. These, there's nothing wrong with them. I just never use them. Um, so they have to go. That one's empty, empty. Chemicals that I'm not going to ship, but I don't use anymore, so I'm not gonna keep. These pencils are the kind of like sticky wax pencils for picking up like flat back gems. I, I don't need this many of them. These are some kind of blending stick. I don't remember what for. That's how long I've had it. Some color pencils. All oh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I just wanna watch for the um, white paint pens because they're dead. Um, this is just a stencil. I've never, I don't think I've ever used it. Garbage, this was just random like cardboard I had in my mark making box. I never used it. A roll of washi tape I used up. All these crayons, I had double the amount of these crayons. I don't need that many. They've gotta go. Um, this is um, Deco Art Gel Medium, used that up. That's empty. Those are all just, again, just duplicate things I never use. Oops, sorry if I bumped the camera with my head, with my brain. Um, a breast rush, breast, blah, blah, blah. A brush rest I never use. Good idea, I never use it. I'm gonna just get rid of it. All right, next box. And this isn't even like the bulk of it. There's like a big stack of stuff behind me. Um, paint brushes. I went through all my paint brushes. I have some I just don't enjoy. I barely ever use. They've got to go. I will be putting what I can fit in a medium priority mailbox. But some of these I think are too big. Let's see. Oh, well, maybe not. The paper trimmer is too big. So it might just have to get donated. Little mini rolling pins and a little mini shower scrunchy thing these are all used were used as mark making tools i haven't used them in at least two years gotta go more brushes i never use pencils i never use homemade mark making tool i haven't used in a million years you get the idea all of this stuff look at all of this stuff homemade um foam stamp um bottle caps i'm not going to put the bottle cap in there like honestly there is some plumbing parts though. They make good mark making tools. I just had duplicates. I don't need that many. Homemade, more homemade stamps, hand carved stamps and things. This is a mark making tool. This is a piece of a flip flop. <laughs> and then some silicone scrubber things, a piece of a Lego. I'm gonna put as much of it as I can into this box to the boxes of purge stuff that are in my Etsy shop. Let's 
some other paintbrush. It still has the cap on it. I've never used it. Some of the paintbrushes are really expensive, by the way. Um, these are artwork, old artwork. And I'll explain about them separately. They will not be in the box, um, but they will be for sale. So old, just notepads full of old artwork. Some signed, most is not signed. Practice drawings. See, just old, old stuff. Okay. okay. <clears throat> I keep on the trash. Um, let's do the papers and drawings first that I just showed you. So I'm going to be sticking all of these drawings and notebooks along with a bunch of packaging material that I found in my, look at all this, um, an old soapbox. It's a really cool pattern, would make a cute junk journal thing. I don't do junk journals, why am I saving this? This is a Tiffany & Company little watch catalog. I don't need some planner stuff, don't need. Again, some chipboard and some product packaging, don't need. This is from uh, the last car show I think that we went to. Um, this is the Subaru little, it's actually very nice paper. More product packaging, some prints of some photos I took, coffee bag, don't remember where that's from, piece of painty paper, um, random photos and stained papers, and random little bits of papers and tissue and stuff that were just on my desk. I haven't used them in like the last two years, they're not gonna get used, so. All of this is going in a giant envelope. And it'll get marked with the words artwork slash ephemera because I do have another one of these. It's only artwork for sale. I have to get all these this in the envelope. Hold on one second. Okay, that envelope's full. It must weigh like three or four pounds at least. The next stack of things. You guys aren't going to believe it. So I went through some stuff and I'm rearranging my desk, which I'm gonna film for the vlog um, in just a minute. You'll see it the week of February. It's the my week in review for the week of February 1st through February 6th, um, 2021. I decided I have all these rubber stamps, my own designs included and they're in the closet, and so, and I, you know, I never use them. But if I kept a few on my desk and sort of rotated out monthly, they would get used a lot more. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in the process of rearranging my desk a little bit, which again, will be in that vlog. I went through the stamps and found a big giant stack of things that need to go away. So these are from Viva Las Vegas stamps. If I know where they're from, I'm gonna tell you. Um, we're going to fill up the box as we can. I don't think they're all going to fit in this medium box, but anyway, Viva Las Vegas stamps, this one. There's a bunch of different designs in here. All these are all individual different stamps. This one says Penny Black. And these are in CD cases. I'm going to give them, I'm going to sell them in the case. This is another Penny Black set of stamp there's two in there most of these cases have more than one stamp set in here i think this one is tim holtz but it's not marked um viva las vegas stamps again all of those are each individual stamp again i think that's tim holtz it's cute and all but i don't think i've ever used it um this is probably penny black but i don't know for sure Dina Wakely. Um, I have a bunch of Santoro girls. I do love them and I have collected them, um, but I, again, I never use them. And each one of these has at least two girls in it. This, these, these ones have more than that. And again, I don't think these are all gonna fit in the box. They are gonna be sold as a lot. Um, if you are interested and you're local, Private message me. More Santoro girls. 
they're cute and all, but I just never, what I use are the printouts of their girls. They come with packaging with the girl on it. That's what I end up using. I never stamp the stamp. This is, I think, Adina Wakely, Tracy Bautista. It is, let's see. I'm just looking at the camera and you can't even see it's that one and then her handwriting one there's two in here no i can't get that back in okay uh, more tracy bautista nothing wrong with them i just never use them this is paper bag studio Stamper, Tim Holtz, Stampers Anonymous. I have lots of stamps that are similar in design. And so again, I don't need to use, don't need to keep them. These are, I don't remember, these might be creative memory stamps. These are old. I, they were wood block stamps. I unmounted them a long time ago. Same with that one. Tim Holtz again, I think. And then Dark Room Door. The, never used still all attached so all that's for sale the stamps i don't think again will be in the etsy shop um at the moment unless i can i need i'm gonna need a bigger but much bigger box so um and it'll be a separate listing if i can find a large size box but if you are interested before i can get it listed and you're local and you'd like to come get it um this is a gonna be an expensive box my cost but the value for the dollar is gonna be really, really good. So anyway, um, and if you would like some paint brushes, uh, if you're local and you pick up the stamps and you want a paper trimmer, let me know, because <laughs> I have that. And then if you want some paint brushes and things, some of these are really expensive paint brushes. I never use them. They've gotta go onto a home where they're gonna get used. This, this box is gonna get sealed and I will mark on it stamps and paint brushes. And so if you want this box specifically, please note that in the notes section of your Etsy order. Otherwise, I will be picking a box at random. There is also still the box with a large Zyron in it. If you want that one, again, I'll be the outside of the box is marked so I can pull that one for you. All right, now on to what I was actually supposed to be doing. That's it for today. Please check out the video description for links to the Etsy store, my email newsletter, my social media stuff, all of that stuff. Support the free content if you can. I would really appreciate it. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please wear a mask and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Use it or lose it. It's the name of the game this year. If I'm not using it, it's got to go on to somebody who will. That's it for now. See you later. Bye, guys.